Hey everyone, today we're gonna to talk about another feature in Camtasia 2023 that I really love called Dynamic Backgrounds. So let's go ahead and get started. Welcome back, my name is Jeff Bat, and if you haven't checked out my website already, go ahead and check out my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts covering anything learning development related. So XAPI, how to work with different graphics, how to work with audio and PowerPoints and Storyline and Camtasia, everything there. You can also download free templates you can find templates in Articulate Storyline. You can also find XAPI and video templates. And if any of these topics are new to you, you can check out full courses covering everything from A to Z in Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom SCORM, and HTML5 video. Not too long ago, Camtasia 2023 was released with a slew of different features, and I've already covered some of those features, but today I wanted to talk a little bit about dynamic backgrounds. And you could import backgrounds in Camtasia before, you could e even use your own backgrounds, but dynamic backgrounds take it to a whole nother level. So I'm gonna go ahead and pull up Camtasia 2023 here. Now, if I go into my media bin here, I just have this kind of sample video, a video I created for uh, local theater. And I'm just gonna use that as kind of uh, a way to stylize this video and add a background behind the video as well. So we're just gonna come back to that. But to use dynamic backgrounds, all I have to do is come into the library here in Camtasia 2023. Now, when you go into the library, make sure you select under the library dropdown box, make sure you select the Camtasia library, Camtasia 2023 library. Now you can create your own libraries, you can insert your own content as well, but this is the default Camtasia 2023 library. So I'm gonna select that and then I can come down to dynamic backgrounds. Now this is where you can find other graphics too that you can use for your project. Drag and drop these onto your stage here. You'll notice these different types of animated backgrounds. That's what a dynamic background is. So you can see here kind of little motion blobs there, different shapes here that you can use as part of your background there. Now, if I drag and drop any of these onto my stage here, I can come over to the dynamic properties and I can change the colors. This means that you can change the colors to match more of your company colors as well. This is one of the beauties about dynamic backgrounds compared to the old backgrounds that Camtasia had where you basically are stuck with whatever style that they had. You can change the style and the different aspects, uh, even the midpoint and X and Y and speed and everything inside of the properties panel over on the right hand side. Now I do have a project that is 4K, so that's why you see this stage area being a lot larger. So I'm gonna go ahead and resize this. You can resize this to any size that you want and it's not gonna pixelate or do anything like that. Now, another benefit of dynamic backgrounds compared to what you could do before is you can stretch the dynamic background as long as you want and it will just keep animating. Before the different backgrounds, some of them were animated, but you would have to duplicate it or copy and paste for the length of time that you wanted it. But in this case, you don't have to do that. So that is just a nice benefit. You can drag that out for as long as you want here. Now I'm gonna go back into my media bin and you can see all the different ones that I've added have now been added to my media bin. So if you don't want those, you can right click and delete. Now I'm gonna go ahead and take this video right here and I'm gonna drag it out and I'm gonna cut out the first part here. And I'm gonna just have this I'm gonna resize this a little bit. So I want this to be a little bit smaller so we can have that dynamic background in the back there. And then I'm gonna center this on the stage. Now that's okay, but the colors in the video, I mean, the color is not gonna be there the entire video, but the colors in the video kind of don't stand out sometimes. So I want them to stand out a little bit. So I'm gonna take this video, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my visual effects here, and I wanna stylize it a little bit more. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit of a drop shadow. Now I can drag it onto the object on the stage here, or I can drag it down to the video down here as well. Either way works, but now with that video selected, I have my drop shadow options over on the right hand side. I'm gonna make sure that that drop shadow is centered in the middle here, and I'm gonna adjust the blur a little bit just so we get a little stronger pop between the dynamic background and the video. So there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that option again. Yeah, I can change the angle if I wanted to, I can change the color. Uh, again, you can just up the blur if you wanted a really strong blur. Let me go back here. If you wanted a really strong blur between the background and so forth, you can do that. I'm gonna take it back down a little bit and create the offset so you can see the strength has increased a little bit there as well. I think that's looking good, but I want it stylized even more. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this object and I'm gonna come into my visual effects again, but I'm gonna actually go up here to corner rounding. Now, if I drag and drop that here, I can then adjust the radius of that video. So you can see now it will round the corners of that video. It gives me a nice little rounded corner there. So if I go ahead and hit play again, you can see that that is nice and rounded. And uh, that dynamic background is moving and adjusting depending on which one you've chosen as well. So you get that nice cool effect. I'm gonna take it even a step further here. So I'm gonna go ahead and animate this in. So let's go into our animations and I'm gonna go into my animations here and I'm going to add on an animation. Now with an animation, you have point A, where does it start? And then you have point B, where does it end? I want this to end here, so I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Let's zoom into our timeline. And I'm gonna select point A here. And let's go ahead and just move this off the stage. So if I zoom out in my stage area, I can just click and drag and drop that here. I can just click and drag that to the bottom. Now that will animate in like that, but I want it to adjust a little bit more. So if I right click on that animation, and I go to animation easing, I can have this be a nice little bounce at the end. So now let's try that again. That's probably a little bit too much, so let's just stick with exponential in and out. I think that looks nice there. So now we have the video coming in, we have the video playing. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, cut the video right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and split that video. Let's say that we even have the video animate out, so we can have it animate out, and then we can have different videos animate in with the dynamic background staying the same. So that's one of the benefits of the dynamic background is the fact that you can keep your design consistent and have different elements flying in and flying out. You could have pictures and other things like that. So let's actually come in here and take that custom animation. Let's move this out to the side here. I'm just going to do this real quick. So that kind of moves off to the side and then let's have this animate in from the other side. That's just my point B, that's where I want it to end up, but I'm gonna have it start out here. So let's just take this, let's take a look at this now. If you want to, and it's kind of off-centered, you can zoom in using your scroll wheel, but if you hit option, if you're on a Mac, option C or control C, I believe on Windows, it'll center that right in the middle here. So we have our video there, it animates in, the video animates out, and then the new video animates in. So that's just a cool different way to have different things kind of fly in, fly out, and add a little bit more style to your Camtasia projects. So hopefully that was useful for you. If you want to check out more, go to my website at learningdojo.ninja. Here you can check out all previous blog posts. I have a lot of different things on Camtasia. I have a lot of different things on Storyline 360 as well. You can also download free templates, Articulate Storyline 360 templates, XAPI and video templates. You can also get full courses covering everything from A to Z in the different topics on Articulate Storyline 360, Adobe Captivate, XAPI Fundamentals, Camtasia, Articulate Rise, Custom Scorm, and HTML5 video. Also, if you like this video, go ahead and head on over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my YouTube channel and click that like button and also that bell notification so you get notified of all future videos as they come out. That really helps my channel, allows me to continue to create these videos for you to help you with your learning developments. And also, if you have any questions or if you wanted to see anything else, go ahead and leave that in the comments below at my YouTube channel or my the video on YouTube. And I'm happy to uh, respond to those and to uh, 
uh, put any additional videos that you want to see into my backlog here. So thanks everyone. That's all I have for today. So I'll see you next time. Yeah.